In the cold deserts of Ladakh, where the mountains whisper ancient stories and rivers freeze into silence, one man has spent his life building change. Not for fame, not for profit, but for people. His name is Sonam Wangchuk, and this is his story. Born in 1966 in Uli Takpo, a remote village in Ladakh, Sonam Wangchuk grew up in a place that was as beautiful as it was forgotten by development. His early life was anything but easy. He struggled in a mainstream education system that didn't understand the realities of mountain life. Failing. Not because he wasn't smart, but because the system was broken. He taught himself to read and write Hindi at the age of nine, and by 14, he left home to study in Srinagar. From a misunderstood child, he emerged as a revolutionary thinker. After completing engineering and mechanical engineering from REC Srinagar, Sonam returned, not to chase a career abroad, but to transform education and sustainability in Ladakh. You may know his ideas even if you don't know his name, because Sonam Wangchuk was the real-life inspiration behind the character Funsuk Wangdu, a.k.a. Rancho, played by Amir Khan, in the blockbuster film Three Idiots. Just like in the movie, Sonam has always believed that learning should be practical, joyful, and rooted in real life, not confined to textbooks and blind memorization. In 1988, he founded SECMOL, the Students' Educational and Cultural Movement of Ladakh. SECMOL was a radical response to the failures of the government-run education system. Here, students who were labeled as failures became confident problem solvers, innovators, and change makers. The campus itself is a lesson in sustainable living. Solar powered, eco friendly, and completely student run, SECMOL is a living model of what education in the mountains should be. No rote learning, only real world skills. But Sonam didn't stop at education. He saw the climate crisis coming before many others did. As glaciers began to retreat due to global warming, Water scarcity became a matter of survival for Ladakis. So he invented the ice stupa, a man-made glacier that stores winter water in the form of towering ice cones that melt slowly in spring. This innovation has not only helped thousands of farmers, but has also drawn global attention to how indigenous solutions can fight climate change. Awards, TED Talks, and international recognition followed. But fame was never the goal. In recent years, Sonam Wangchuk's mission has become even more urgent. After Ladakh was made a union territory in 2019, large corporations and mining interests began circling the region. Without proper constitutional safeguards like sixth schedule status, Ladakh became vulnerable. Sonam launched a movement. Climate fasts, public appeals, legal activism, all to protect the fragile Himalayan ecosystem and the rights of its indigenous people. But standing against billion-dollar interests comes with a cost. From limiting public events, to restricting movement, to media silence, Sonam Wangchuk has faced growing pressure from both government and corporate lobbies. His calls for transparency and sustainability threaten powerful interests, those who see Ladakh as a gold mine, not a homeland. Yet he refuses to back down, even when fasting in freezing temperatures. Even when isolated, his only weapon, truth, innovation, and the unshakable love for his land. Sonam Wangchuk is more than an engineer. He is a teacher, a fighter, a visionary. In a world chasing profit, he chooses purpose. In a system built on greed, he builds with hope. But he can't do it alone. Ladakh's future, and the future of the Himalayas, depends on us on whether we choose short-term gains or long-term survival. This was the story of Sonam Wangchuk, the real-life rancho, the ice man of India, and the tireless voice of Ladakh. Share his story. Support his mission. Because when the mountains speak, we must listen.